constant fluctuations in oil and pump gas prices indicate the need to search for alternative energy sources such as water, sun, geothermal, wind, natural gas, and biomass to meet the country's fuel requirements. Being an agricultural country, the Philippines is rich in biomass, which is traditionally tapped as fuel source, particularly in the rural areas. One abundant biomass resource commonly used as fuel, owing to its high heating value, is the coconut or coco shell. It has been an ingredient in charcoal briquette production, along with the agroforest wastes, coffee bean hull, rice hull, and sawdust. Charcoal briquette is a compacted mass of fuel made by mixing charcoal fines or carbonized agroforest wastes with starch and molded under pressure. Although not yet popular in the Philippines, charcoal briquettes serve as household fuel in Europe, the US, and some Asian countries where hotels and restaurants use them for grilling and roasting. In the Philippines, charcoal briquetting was first introduced in 1956 by the then Forest Products Laboratory, now the FBRDI. It did not stir much interest among Filipinos until the energy crisis in the 1970s forced them to look for cheaper fuel. FPRD Ice Manual Charcoal Briqueter is tailored for a small investor. Made from local materials, it can yield 90 to 100 kilograms of briquettes daily. Auxiliary equipment include the following. The carbonizer converts rice hull, sawdust, coffee bean hull, and other fine agro-waste materials into charcoal fines. The charcoal crusher pounds the carbonized materials into uniform particles of about 40 mesh. Run by an electric motor, its capacity is about half a ton per hour of operation. The charcoaling drum carbonizes twigs, cocoa shells, and husks, and corn cubs. The 30 to 36 kilogram per hour capacity manual charcoal fines binder mixer blends the charcoal fines, or carbonized agroforest wastes, and cassava starch as binder before the briquetting process. It is four times faster than the hand mixing and does not require cooling the binder first before mixing with the charcoal fines or carbonized agroforest wastes. Other equipment include weighing scales, stove, cooking vessel, sieve, and containers for collecting carbonized materials. Entrepreneurs wishing to increase their production outputs can avail themselves of the mechanized picketers. These can churn out two tons of either the pillow-shaped or the tube-type brickets daily. Now let's compare the investment options in FPRDI's manual and mechanized charcoal bricketing systems. As an energy source, charcoal briquettes can replace a sizable amount of the expensive household fuel, LPG, kerosene, and electricity. Because they are compact and uniform sized, some users prefer briquettes because they are less messy and easier to handle than ordinary charcoal. They are also easy to ignite slow-burning, 
emit intense heat and almost smokeless when burning. Aside from being a domestic and industrial fuel, charcoal briquettes can substitute for coal and coke in steel processing and in calcium carbide plants. Lessen the country's dependence on imported fossil fuels and our potential export material to the US, Europe, Japan, Korea, and Malaysia, where they are in demand. FPRDI continues to explore sustainable and efficient ways to utilize the country's wood and non-wood resources. Technology innovations such as the manual and the mechanized bricketers aim to find substitute energy sources, prevent further destruction of the country's forest resources, and provide livelihood possibilities to rural communities.